So the Cleveland School of Science and Medicine was a combination of some good ideas and a lot of luck. And initially, the notion was prompted by what's happening nationally and particularly in Cleveland in terms of the economy. Manufacturing that's so important to us is declining uh, as it relates to the economy and job opportunities at the same time that medicine was just rising, uh, and again, particularly in Cleveland. It is such a treasure to have a school like this in an urban setting. The students are being so well served. When they come out of this school, they come prepared to meet their goals. And that's not something that every city has. We wanted to create something that was unique to provide students opportunities in Cleveland to be trained in the health sciences. In order to close the gap in healthcare disparities, we've got to make sure that students who are coming out of our inner cities are part of our, our health kitchen. Our unique focus uh, has been a challenge to do something in the city that hasn't been done and that's been so energizing and to get our early successes and to see them magnified it's like uh, there is no limit to what we can do. The notion that a, a school tied to medicine uh, could work and that we could prove to the community that uh, we could create academic excellence ten years later uh, has been proven and it's really exciting and it's a huge testament to the students, uh, to the teachers, to the parents. I get excited of just knowing that we've been able to continue and sustain kind of the vision of the school as well as, you know, really touching a lot of students. Being a student here, you just feel accepted, like it's a community and you immediately feel welcome as soon as you come through the doors. I like the different networking and connections we have. I like the drive, like the motivation that the teachers give you. I really like the environment and I love the teachers. And I love the, the, the rigorous coursework. There's principles of biomedical science and human body systems and medical interventions and they're specialized just for medicine and learning just about the human body and I absolutely love it. <laughs> That's one of the things that I love about this school is that we try to build courage to go out and find your strengths so that you can come back to Cleveland and make it even better. I want to become a forensic psychiatrist. I want to be a surgeon. A career that I'm looking at is a physician assistant. I attend Cornell University. I am a human development major on the pre-med track and I just finished my freshman year. One thing that's special about the school is that once you make connections with teachers, um, they open doors for you. So getting that kind of experience just, you know, builds upon um, what you do. You have Case and Queen Clinic and UH surrounding us and they're all on our board of trustees and so we just have amazing partnerships with them. The most amazing thing is the people that surround you at the medical school that you don't have failure as an option. These students have really served as an inspiration for us from all the contributing institutions to the school. It's our pipeline. It's where we look to get the students that we believe will fit the mission and the vision of this program. Yeah, if you ask me, what is the most important thing you've done in your medical career? It's not getting a PhD. It's not getting an MD. The most important thing I've done in my medical career is to establish this pipeline for these kids who've had less than I have. The school itself and the community it's become is because of the people that go here and work here and live here. And people make a difference. And I think we see that through our high expectations, our caring uh, personalities, and our devotion to excellence. It feels like I'm special and I'm finally finding my place in life and that I actually can do it if I put my mind to it. I have, I have a lot of pride in my school, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that pride, I'm going to keep that pride, and it's going to grow when I become an alumni.